Yo, today I'm going to show you how to make this text. I'm going to show you how to make it bleed into each other, how to add the secondary color, how to distort it in some places, how to make it disappear in some places, how to make the text look more realistic. So first of all, load up your paper texture. And where do you get it? You go to unsplash.com and you write paper texture. And there's a lot of them. I chose this one. A good shortcut key, hold shift and hold alt, invert the picture using control and I, or going to image adjustment and invert. You can adjust the paper texture to your liking using the image adjustment, hue saturation and lightness. Or maybe you want more of a texture or less of the texture and you go to image adjustment and brightness contrast. And you play with the contrast. So to make the text bleed, the closer letters will be to each other, the more they will bleed into each other. And to adjust that, you go to character. And if you don't have that, you go to window, character, and you choose this one. If you want them to bleed into each other, make them closer to each other. Now, if you want a little bleed, then you can just go to blur and you go to box blur. and we go to threshold. Now you see the text has distorted a little bit and gave it some texture. That's because the paper texture was behind it. But if we didn't have it and we had only the solid color, then it would be more straight. So choose what you like. So once you're happy with your bleeding, you just export the picture and you add it to another project. And to get rid of the black background, you just screen it. And if you want the text to be something different than white, then you just have to you just have to add the color beneath it and, and put the picture as multiply to get rid of the white color. Now, what if you have a picture and you just want the text to be a little bit more realistic without doing all this stuff? You can just add filter, noise, median median will round up the edges and make it more as a make it look like it was realistically like the ink was realistically put into a paper also add filter distort ripple ripple will add a little bit of texture to your letters if you want your text to to blend with the background, you need to go to blending options and turn down these options. Okay, there is another trick to make your text a little bit disappear and make it look a little bit more realistic. You basically take the brush and you choose one of these. You make it black and you just put dots somewhere or you put lines. So now you can export the picture and then screen it and all these black spaces will disappear leaving you with the damaged text. Now to add a secondary color We've hit, we hit it with a little bit of box blur. Now we go to gradient map. All you have to do is add a dark color near to the black. And you play around with these settings. And as you can see, the secondary color starts to pop up. Another trick that you can try is going to black blending options. In bevel embossed, there is a texture and you can choose some of these and play around with these settings. Now, if you want to control the blur, you go to filter, blur gallery and field blur. And with this tool, you can adjust how much blur and where the blur is. So for example, you can blur out the whole D. 
So for example, I want the blur to be on E very strong, but on the D I want it very small and I can do that. Then you go to threshold and you can play around how much you want them to bleed into each other. Hopefully you learned something new and I helped you. See you later.